What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela Anissa. If you are new here, hi, welcome to the fam. <laughs> If you want to join us, please be sure to get, click that subscribe button down below. And I also have all my other social medias linked in the description box down below. If you want to go pop them a follow, go for it. Um, and yeah, let's get started for today's video. Super exciting video for you guys. We're going to be doing a full week of workouts. So it's basically my new workout split, how I train. I'm going to be taking you guys through my entire week of workouts. I usually work out five to six days a week. And most of my days are like lower body days. I do do two upper body days a week. And the rest is pretty much glutes and like legs. AKA like quad focus, glute focus. That's kind of how I train. Um, this is like... I'm like not 100% like on like my exact workout that I'm doing for my bulk like you'll see in this workout video that like my lower body days are slightly different like my glute days are slightly slightly different but not really like the core exercises are the same I'm just playing around with a few like accessory stuff but the upper body workouts I kind of just do what I want because I'm happy with my upper body the only thing I'm working on is like functional body weight like strength. I want to be able to do some chin-ups by the end of my bulk. I can do three right now which I'm super happy with but I want to be able to do seven to ten without like a band by the end of this bulk. So that's the vibe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm about to go head to the gym. It's Monday right now. I am about to do an upper body sesh. I'm feeling pumped. I'm feeling ready. Let's go. I'm so excited and I'll see you guys at the gym. Bye! Okay, it's actually only an hour later and I went to the gym and I literally could not get out of my head. I didn't even finish my pre-workout, like I don't even know, like I was just thinking about literally anything but the gym. I've been like so stressed out lately and my anxiety's kind of been really bad and I thought today was going to be better but it ended up affecting my workout which is fine. So I ended up just being on the treadmill for like half an hour trying to get out of my head and then I was just like, you know what, I should just go home. So I'm home now and I'm going to try and get out of my head. I'm like so unbelievably stressed out right now. I'm honestly trying not to cry. Like it's just, I'm just struggling. So workout didn't happen today. That's okay. Um, I was going to not even tell you guys and I was like, you know what, why would I hide that from you guys? So yeah, um, this is the situation. Love that for me. Um, I'm gonna try and like relax and like try and calm down my mind right now. But I will see you guys tomorrow for my workout. Hopefully tomorrow's workout will be better. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I ended up doing my upper body workout the next day. We made it to the gym. It's a good time. You know how it is. So I'm just starting this upper body up workout with these barbell rows. I just use the preload barbell just because I find it easier. My gym's usually pretty busy around the squat racks and the barbells. So I just use the preloaded one. And then now we're moving in to bicep curl shoulder press. These are one of my faves. I love combining biceps with shoulder press i don't usually do bicep curls on their own because i just prefer to like add in another superset if you will okay i'm obsessed with doing bent over single side rows i love this exercise to death and i want by the end of my bulk to be able to do 75 pounds we'll see if it happens but we're doing good with 50s hi and yeah these are just a bomb exercise for your back for your lats and then this exercise is a new one my boyfriend just showed me this i can't remember what it's called but i'll pop it on the screen here and it's so good for your lats and i really like it because it's also helping with my mobility in my shoulder because i'm trying to stretch all the way back at the top of that exercise and these are just a really fun one mm -hmm. All right, so we're now on to my booty day, the best day of the week, except I do a few of these a week, so it's even better. We're starting with hip thrusts. Um, here I'm doing almost three plates, and in the next clip you will see me doing three plates. Love that. I'm so excited to hopefully by the end of this bulk be able to do four plates, maybe even five. We will see what happens. I just want to lift super heavy. It just makes me feel amazing, and I want those strong juicy glutes you know i just want the booty gains so here we are lifting three plates hell yeah Two, 
This next exercise I actually haven't done for so long, but I used to do it literally every single day when I first started my fitness journey. I'm not joking. I did these every day. You shouldn't do these every day, but I did them every day and I was obsessed. I haven't done them in a long time, but I decided to implement them back into my routine because I just love how much it targets my glutes. About you. Okay, and the next exercise is another one of my faves, which is banded landmine RDLs. So I'm just using the landmine instead of like dumbbells you could also do this with dumbbells i just find i can get a little bit more range of motion if i'm using the landmine so this is a great exercise for the booty for the hammies it's a good time and i'm also super setting it with these sumo squats with a dumbbell i love super setting rdls and squats i just find it's a perfect combo i'm just obsessed Must be in the way. So I did the same pretty much upper body workout as I did earlier in the week. So I just ended up filming my little ab circuit for you guys. This is just like something that I do after probably four or five workouts a week. I will do an ab circuit. I usually pick like four exercises or so and then I do it in a circuit for three sets. And then I also have my stretching routine right after this as well because that has been highly requested. And I hope you guys enjoy. It is now, I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. I think it's Thursday, no, oh, Friday. No, it's Friday today. <laughs> don't even know what day it is. And I'm about to go hit a gym sesh. I'm so excited. Fridays are like my favorite. I don't know, I'm always in the mood for a good sesh. I've been up since 7.30 doing so much work. It is now 2 p.m. right now and I'm finally getting to the gym. I wanted to go earlier, but that didn't happen, but that's totally okay. So we're gonna head to the gym right now. I'm so excited and we'll get crack a lack and let's smash this sesh, baby. Um, also PSA, I'm like a little bit bloated right now. A little meaning like a lot. This is like a lot for me. Um, I can like suck in and pose and make it look all cute, but like the reality is this is what I look like right now. 
um, the bulking food baby is a thing we love it especially like it's the afternoon usually I gym in the morning um, so I will obviously look a little bit flatter in the morning compared to the afternoon I now have two meals in me and one snack so she's looking a little thick and that's totally fine and starting off this leg sash with some front squats these are a new thing for me I haven't done them for a while I used to do them all the time and I really want to build back up that strength so we're starting with 25s on each side I used to be able to do 35s I'm hoping by the end of this bulk I can do a plate on each side but we will see and then I'm supersetting that with jumping lunges oh boy my quads were absolutely toast after this and this is just the first superset of the day oh my goodness and of course we have to have Bulgarian split squats in this workout. These are literally my all-time fave exercise. I'm obsessed with them. I've been doing them forever. I pretty much have them in every workout plan I've ever made. They're just literally the best thing of the entire world. I swear to God, if you haven't done these before, you need to. They're just so amazing. I am obsessed. I just find they're so great for targeting your quad. A little bit of that side glute, but I just find the quad activation in those exercises is just so good. And then I'm supersetting that with jumping Bulgarian split squats. So basically, I just remove the weight and I'm jumping at the top of the movement. And then we were moving in to raise heel close stance squats. So basically, I'm just standing with my heels on a plate. My toes are slightly out because I find it a little bit more comfortable. And I'm holding a weight in front of my chest to add extra resistance. I just love how much this exercise targets my quads. I just find that the elevated heel with the close stance just helps me get that extra range of motion so that I am fully going all the way down as far as I can without losing my form wave yeah. i'm in it for keepsake in a field with the cleat lace beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie that's what she say she look good she a big tease when she bite lip with the weak face hella bad when she throwing it back she and then we're moving in to reverse lunges these are again a really good exercise love these I just grab two dumbbells and have them on either side. You can also do these in the squat rack with a barbell. I just found that this was a little bit easier because I tend to do this a bit more when my gym's busy and the squat rack isn't available. So this is usually what I end up doing. Now my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average. I'm padding my stack. I got a matter what he say. I'm the 2010 yeah, LeBron James off the bat for a type of bad boy. Hold it down for the task force. If I run his faith, then you ask for it. Niggas cross need to laugh more. I keep it a hundred on dashboard. The live show need a passport because the beat bounced to the couch. And then I decided to record my little ab circuit I did after my workout today. So this is just my little circuit that I did. Again, I'll have it in the description box down below for you guys. So you can check it out. Feel like I live it in fast forward, but I asked for it. Misfit got a quick lit on a crash course from the tattered garment to the tabloid. Fuck how I live it in two existence. I be ahead of myself, but the bank account did jump up a couple figures. But like nobody could fuck with us. I'm a flight risk. I play among the stars in the Hollywood Hill, the space that you couldn't even get in touch with me. Praise faith that I stuck with it. Wave. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. I've been on a wave. Well, everything I say turn into the real thing. I tell her I Starting off this workout with cable pull throughs, I ended up doing these first. I usually do these at the end of my workout after I've done like my compound lifts, but the gym was so busy. I pretty much did a cable and dumbbell workout today. So I just ended up starting with them because I could go heavier. These are like my heavier lifts, if you will, because I had to modify my workout. These are just so good for targeting your glutes. And then we're moving straight into cable kickbacks. These are a glute staple. I am obsessed with these. I I had stopped doing them for a while and then I started doing them again in my new glute program I built myself for this bulk and I'm loving them. They're great. They're awesome. They're great for targeting your glutes. Pull up, pull up every week and I hate to let it down but I'm in a fast 
slide, sorry, never slide. And then we're moving into cable side abductions. These are so great for the side of your glutes, your glute medius. So good for building that round booty. I have a hard time with these, always have, because my hip range of motion is absolutely atrocious. But something I'm working on in this bulk as well is like making sure I'm stretching and foam rolling and everything like that because I want to increase my mobility. Next, we have stiff leg deadlifts or straight leg deadlifts, whatever you want to call them. I usually do this with the barbell, but again, the gym was busy, so I used a preloaded one. I'm just using the 70-pound one, and I'm just making sure to really slow down the movement and contract at the top. But as you see, I'm not fully locking out my hips because you don't want to hyperextend. Okay, y'all, do not underestimate the power of the dumbbell banded hip thrust, you guys. Like... I swear, if your gym is busy and you need to do a dumbbell booty day, this, oh, just try it. That's all I have to say. It literally absolutely destroys my glutes every single time I do the double banded. And I just grabbed a 45 pound and I'm putting that on my hips and I'm thrusting upwards. The target in my glutes in this exercise is literally insane. I'm obsessed. I'm actually super setting it with these single side glute bridges and it just it burns that's all i have to say is it just burns you guys <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is my full week of workouts. That's what I did this week. That's pretty much my same workout split that I do all the time. Um, so it's like two upper body is a week. The rest is like lower body with more of a glute focus. That's how I've been training right now. I'm really focusing on trying to grow my glutes and my quads and just my legs in general and my strength because that's what I'm working on this bulk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.